everyone, Dave Moorhead here. Today we're going to be making this. This recipe comes from a cookbook written by the hilarious and very talented chef known as the Buddha Chef. Let's show him some love. When I made this burger and saw what the burger looks like, I had a funny feeling that I have seen this burger before. I think I need to start Googling trademark laws. Ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. When I tasted this burger, no clowning around, it was <laughs> delicious. In his cookbook, he calls this burger the Millet Burger. This burger was so good, I wanted it to have an epic, incredibly original name, so I renamed it. Are you ready for this? The Big... Mm, don't get ahead of me. <laughs> I renamed it The Big Mill. I think this new name more accurately describes the burger and hopefully will prevent trademark lawsuits against me. <laughs> the burger is humongous, hence the big, and it is made out of millet. That's where the mill comes from. This was the first time I have cooked or eaten millet, so I wanted to know more about it. So here is some of the info I found. Millet is a seed that is classified as a whole grain. It is often found in birdseed, but it's definitely not just for the birds. It is a starchy, gluten-free grain packed with fiber, protein, vitamins, and minerals like calcium, phosphorus, and magnesium, and it has more essential amino acids than most cereals. Wow! Toasting it before cooking it brings out its more nutty or earthy flavor. It is a great gluten-free alternative for people who have celiac disease or anyone that wants to reduce their gluten intake. It is also a good choice for diabetes due to its high fiber content. Fiber helps slow digestion. As a result, sugar enters the bloodstream slowly, lessening the risk of a blood sugar spike. Now that we are all millet experts, let's get to the recipe. Here are the ingredients. I will also put the ingredients down below the video. For the millet, thoroughly rinse the millet, then drain. In a large pot over medium heat, heat the oil. Add the millet and cook for three to four minutes until slightly toasted. Add the vegetable broth, bring to a boil, then lower the heat and cover. Simmer for 20 minutes or until the liquid is fully absorbed. Remove the pot from the heat and let the millet rest covered for 20 minutes. Time to make the sauce. In a bowl, whisk all the sauce ingredients together. The plant mayonnaise, relish, mustard, paprika, onion powder, maple syrup or agave, ketchup, apple cider vinegar, celery salt then set aside. Time to make the millet patties. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. In a skillet over medium heat, heat the oil, then add the onions and mushrooms and cook for three to four minutes. Transfer the onion and mushroom mixture to a bowl of a food processor. Add the remaining patty ingredients, brown rice, breadcrumbs, ketchup, salt, garlic powder. Pulse for about one minute total or until you reach a coarse texture. Use an ice cream scoop to divide the mixture into six portions, then flatten into patties. I used a one third of a cup measuring cup instead of an ice cream scoop. Heat an oiled skillet over medium high heat, then sear the patties for two minutes on each side. Place cooked patties on a plate while cooking the remaining patties. I fry two patties at a time. I had enough mixture left to make six more patties. Transfer the patties to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and bake for 10 minutes. Slather the hamburger buns with the sauce, then add the millet patties and garnish with some lettuce, tomatoes, pickles and onions. Add a bun slice to make this a double decker. Congrats, you just made a big mill! If you like this video, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I make future videos. Thank you and bon appetit!